to Lone Star Rose TV. My name is Justin Frizzell. We're brought to you by the Credit Union of Texas, sitting here right here on my couch with me. Y'all say hello to my good buddy, Mr. William Clark Green. What's up, man? It's all right. You can clap for yourself. I don't want to come across weird. That's <laughs> all right, man. You know what? It's okay to be excited. Your career is doing this, Pana. It's uh, we're paying off some debt, which is nice, and we're in a lot of debt. So right, it's, it's well, been... you, you got to start somewhere, yeah. and usually it starts in this direction, and then yeah. but you're on the uphill swing now, Everything, man. Yeah, I can't complain. Recently, it's been pretty pretty good. So well, you just released a great record not too terribly Thank long you. ago, uh, Rose Queen, top to bottom. I'm not saying this because you're sitting here. I've told it to as many people that are. I can bend an ear how much I just enjoy that record, and that's a great project. So congratulations. Well, thank man. you very much. We uh, we put, I mean, we put our heart and soul into it, and a lot of, a lot of, a lot of tears and right. a lot of money. And <laughs> I understand. <laughs> it was a, uh, it was one of those. We, we put all the chips in on this one. If right. It, if it wouldn't have done anything, we would have. It would have been Home Depot for old William Clark Green. Hey, you know what? Been there. <laughs> exactly. Ain't, ain't, ain't that bad exactly. for two months. And yeah. then after that, you're like, oh, please, Jesus, just answer one prayer. I'm but, yeah, sure. we, we just, we just, man, we, we, we felt like the songs were there, and, and we, we had a, a phenomenal producer, Rachel Loy. Uh, man, just, it's so funny how things work out. It's, it's, it's never, I've been saying this a lot lately during, yeah. you know, interviews, and it's always the... It's always the things that you don't expect to be huge for you that end up being big. And it's always the things, it's never the things that you expect to be big that turn out to be big for yeah. you. Know? Well, what's your example there? What's um, the surprise here? Well, like uh, with Rachel Loy, like uh, there's an example with her. Um, she, uh, I called Brian Keene, which is her, her husband. Right. Great, great songwriter. And uh, I just, I asked, we we're talking about our records. We just, you know, talk on the phone about once every two weeks and just kind of, Complain about stuff and I you know. get you. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. And uh, and uh, and he, we were talking about producers and going all over the place. And he said, "Well, before you make any decisions, talk to my wife. She knows a lot of great producers." And right. and after like ten minutes of talking to her on the phone, I would just my gut was just like, "Man, she's got to produce our record. She knows exactly. She sounds like she knows exactly what we want." And it was kind of an on the whim decision, and it right. was it was kind of nerve wracking going into it because I was like, "Man, did I make the right decision?" You know. And it turned out, man, I couldn't have made a better one as far as I'm, my opinion goes. You mentioned the, the cost. I mean, obviously, you have to make a pretty large investment into yeah. making a record, especially one of this caliber, I would imagine. But I know it takes a lot to raise that money. But you were going to make this record one way or the other because I know how personal the songs right. on this record are, and you were going to make it, you were going to figure out a way because this is a very personal record for you. Yeah, and it we, <laughs> you know, we... We went to Nashville, and uh, the guy we had a we had a, a friend of ours that was uh, helping us uh, pay for it, mm -hmm. and uh, gave us a personal loan. And, and we, when we got to Nashville, I just assumed I could call him, and then in 24 hours we could get the wire the money wired. And right. well, he was out of the country. Oh well, handy. and uh, and so we're sitting there, you know, three hours to studio time, and I don't have any money. Right. And so uh, I called Wade Bowen. Did you know? And I asked him. I asked him for a, for a loan, and he, without a wink, he said, uh, my accountant lives three blocks over. Go get the check. Check's waiting for you. That is awesome. And that's what this scene's about. And, that's uh, exactly what it's about. And, uh, and that was, uh, you know, it was, it was a pretty cool moment. You know, that's when you realize that, man, these, these guys have my back. And so. you guys are in a big vine war right now. And <laughs> it's not, I'm out of it, but it's my band. I talked to him last week. It's my band and, it's my band and him. Now, William. And I'm getting thrown in William? the middle. <laughs> I talked to him last week. He said, you're, he said he can't allow you and your band to step on the, the, the gang streets of his vine. <laughs> and so he's, he's having to put the chokehold on a little bit. Yeah, he's, a, he's vine king for sure. And, and Golly, they're Snapchat well, here's the deal. You know what you Instagram, need to do? You need to be Instagram king. You know, they're doing the whole video thing now, too. Yeah. So you just let you let Wade go play with his vine. <laughs> you and I will take over Instagram. That man. sounds like a plan. That How's the, like uh, how was, um, oh, what's the name of it? I, I can't remember. Uh, I'll just ask you. Video games. How's that coming? I don't have time anymore. I'm yeah. done. Yeah. Y'all didn't realize that, or maybe you did. William Clark Green. You know, a lot of folks will, show's over with, let's go throw the hammer down. But no, he went straight to his room, plopped down in his bean bag, and it was time to play, <laughs> you know, Combat Man, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was Halo was the thing. Halo, that's yeah. it right there. Yeah, that, that ship has sailed. That, I think that ship sailed after my 27th I birthday. I got a picture of you in the headgear oh, and everything, yeah. getting ready to talk. Yeah. Hey, this is William checking in. I got the end <laughs> on right now. Y'all come on and see me. Yeah, I got that picture. Yeah, so it'll live on forever, and I'll always hold that over your head. <laughs> uh, but no, that's great, man. But yeah, it's uh, you know I'm not home much, and uh, and it's and that's what we wanted. It's what we asked for. So it's uh, yep. We uh, 
this is what we've, we've been, I mean, you've seen us since day one. I mean, Justin, for anybody that doesn't know, Justin is the guy in the scene who gives the guys that no one cares about some a little attention. I mean, he'll get them on their Thank show. You for and, saying that. And, uh, and it's a big deal for, for, for when I was invited to show up, it was a big deal. And I'll never forget, I, I was late and I was driving <laughs> from Tyler with my parents' house and, and, uh, and, and it was with Josh Abbott and uh, who else was on there? I know Josh was on there. I forgot the other two people. And uh, I showed up late for it, and I was so embarrassed and so, golly. But, it all worked out in the end, though, didn't it? Yeah, I guess it did. And Thanks. then you brought for Bear getting, into my radio studio, yeah, and, and he, you had him poop on the floor the first did. time I met him. He so. potty trained since, yeah, so we have great. a lot of firsts yeah. together. So. <laughs> yes, we do, brother. <laughs> and I appreciate you being here, man. Yeah, Did absolutely. you take that pen, autograph that table? Yeah, uh, we're going We're going to auction that table off for charity here at the awesome. end of the season. Yeah, I'd absolutely. love to have your signature on it, man. Absolutely, absolutely. William Clark Green right here, y'all. Check him out, williamclarkgreen.com. Make sure you get a copy of that latest CD, Rose Queen. Thank you, buddy. I Thanks appreciate it. You play live for us when we absolutely. come back? Absolutely. William Clark Green, when we come back, right here on Lone Star Rose TV.